What's going on guys, it's Papa Spank here, and today we're talking about the most political map in zombies, that being 5. <laughs> see what I did there? Politics, zombies, presence, <sighs> forget about it. Anyways, today we're doing a map analysis on 5, so without further ado, let's get into it. 5 is one of the many maps released on BO1 on launch, and compared to Kino, 5 makes you want to shoot yourself in the foot, you know, this map is just very, very hard, so if you can get past round 20 on this map, that's great. The many levels on this map and the close coordinates really, really just can stress a player out and it even stresses me out to this day. Then again, I'm not that great of a player, so you gotta put that into perspective. Anyways, there's a lot of good things about this map, some things that make you want to just bash your head against the wall, and we're gonna get into it. So stick around and shut up. One of the many things that makes this map unique is its crew. You know, you don't got the Ultimus crew, or the Primus crew, or the Victus crew. You got politicians. <laughs> you got President Kennedy, Nixon, um, McNamara, Castro, you know, very, very unique and different characters, you know. They get along really well, and the dialogue between them is funny. Um, it's a very different crew, but I think it's one of the best crews we have in Zombies. Um, as far as crew goes, you know, they get along really well, and they're very entertaining to play. Um... One thing I don't like about this map, and I want to talk about now, is the Pentagon Thief. As annoying as obstacles go in COD Zombies, this guy really pisses me off. Basically, the Pentagon Thief comes after you and takes your weapon, which can be very annoying, and I hate it when he takes the weapon I want most. So basically, the way to fight him is to chase him down and shoot him down, which you know, seems simple enough, but he swerves in and out of the maze, which is the lower level, you know, going through teleporters, and you have to make sure you kill him right before he goes into the middle teleporter. Now, on its own, that doesn't sound that bad, but you gotta think about it. It's five. It's very easy to run out of ammo and get very lost in this map. So it's always very, very obnoxious to chase him down. And you know, at the end of the day, it may be worth that um, fire sale and that max ammo, but really, it's not. He's a very annoying asshole, and it really makes me mad that he's even in the game. But you know what? I agree that the map wouldn't be the same without him. It's the only map that he's in, you know, he's not in classified. Which I guess is okay. But you know what? Screw him. And all he stands for. He's a deckhead. And God. I hate him. <laughs> the map's one weapon is a bit more unique than others. On 5, you have the Winter's Howl. Now, it came out first on 5. But it also is in Verruckt where I have used it. I've never gotten the Winter's Howl on 5. But when I've used the Winter's Howl, it's not that bad. You know, it's not the Ice Staff. It's not the best Ice weapon I've used throughout my life. You know, but it does a job pretty meh. You know, it's not bad, bad, but once you pack a punch, you'll be fine. And I think the one just how it gets a bad rap. Just pack a punch the damn thing and you'll be fine. Um, there's not many really annoyances on this map other than the Pentagon Thief. The Crawlers, maybe. There's no Hellhounds when it comes to, like, little mini-bosses. But the Crawlers in the basement really, really get annoying. And it's hard to train with them there and just... Be hopeful that you can jump over them sometimes, because not only is them just being there and taking up space annoying, but when you kill them and the, their like ass fart gets in your face, it's a little it's it's a little stressful. This whole map is just stressful, and that's basically it about five. You know, there's really not a lot to talk about. It's close cornered, and it's just a very very simple map. You know, this is a time when Treyarch really wasn't like pushing boundaries like they did in BO2 and BO3. Um, it's just a classic BO1 experience, which I think, you know, has its charm, and 5 definitely does have charm with it. So, you know, do I like 5? Yeah. You know, I don't play it often, and when I do, I generally do have a good time for what it's worth. You know, it's not a long time of fun, but, you know, it's fun to see how far I can get with each playthrough I do. You know, it's a challenge. And if you're a great Zombies player, this is the map for you. You can brag to your friends saying, that, hey, you got to, like, round, like, 25 on 5 good job you know here's a cookie but really i think that's all i have to say about five it's a great map if i had to rate it out of a blank out of ten i think i'd give it like a five there's not a pun there i just realized what i said please don't unsubscribe <laughs> but um with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do there's a like button there's a comment button subscribe if you want to you know it'd really make my day help me out here We're almost to 60 subs Woo! another milestone but, um, I might take a little bit of a break. Um, I'll be back soon, so whenever I come back, so when I come back, so. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah.